The 91 overall Fred McGriff is also on the squad. I have too many first basemen who I don't even know who to use. This is pretty much a tryout at this point in time. I got Freddie Freeman, I got Fred McGriff, I got Eric Karros, and I also got that Paul Goldschmidt you, you get from doing uh, the Conquest missions. And I'm also in the process of getting another first baseman, although I think the player I'm trying to get uh, first base is his secondary position, but still... So first base is just always one of those positions who you just have a um, you have a lot of players for, and it sucks too because a lot of first basemen don't have any secondary positions, and even if they did, you don't want to stick them anywhere else because their fielding is mediocre at best. So 98 power, that is me written all over it, 100 percent. This was one of the first cards I I wanted to get for doing the epic uh, team missions, but I just didn't. This is kind of why I didn't pick him up first, is because I didn't really want to spend. 15,000 stubs on Freddie Freeman and then once I got McGriff not even play Freeman so that wouldn't it wouldn't be a waste of 15,000 stubs but I mean to spend 15,000 stubs on just one player I would kind of like to use him at some point and plus since McGriff would have been at first base then I don't know how Freddie Freeman would have made it in the lineup unless McGriff was just out here doing shit all at the plate pretty much because I think he has 59 fielding so I'm not really expecting that much out of him at first base. So my opponent in this game is getting off to a very good start. He gets uh, two runs in the top of the first inning. Jonathan Villar is getting plunked. So that speed is on base. Melvin Upton is in because, yeah, he had a lefty in. I think I had, who did I have? I think Granderson or something was uh, up. And then I decided to put Melvin Upton in because I think I had a bunch of lefties in the lineup in this game too. I was, I was doing a good job of mixing uh, righties and lefties in the first couple games. But I think this game I had a bunch of lefties in. I'm going to try and get some more right-handers or righties, uh, too, just back in the lineup, too. And, and this guy, man, I didn't want to show every single time he did that. I'm not even joking. I, I kid you not. That guy was throwing over to first base for, like, 10 minutes. I'm not joking. He would not throw the ball to home plate for 10 minutes. Every single time I took a lead, I didn't even take a lead half the time. This guy was throwing to first base, so it was one of these guys, one of these buzz kills that you're playing. And I get the run, so I come around all the way to score with VR right there. And then Griffey is up. David Price, I have not seen for anybody's squad yet. Griffey, lefty on lefty, base hit up the gut. So this Reds Griffey is going off so far. I'm going to try and do that mission, too, you have to do with him when you have to... Uh, I forget what you have to do. You have to get, what is it, 10 home runs and 22 RBIs in a span of 30 games in either ranked seasons or battle royale so I'm guessing if you don't do it in 30 games it's just gonna restart like it's not going to just go away forever but I'm pretty sure I have what I think I have three home runs so far in ranked seasons games with uh, this Griffey and I think I have like five or six RBI so I think yeah I only played three games maybe four so I'm still 26 games away from uh, I just need seven more home runs I think and then you know not what is it, 19 or 18 RBI? I don't even know how many RBIs I have, but it's not, it's, it's you know, it's around 18 or 19 left to do this mission. But that, that 92 Griffey that you unlock for doing that it doesn't even have that good power. He has 78 power, I think, versus righties. But everything else is amazing, like his contact versus righties and lefties is good. His vision is all right, and his fielding and speed is also very good, too. So I just wish... That 92 Griffey had amazing, uh, or not amazing, just, you know, at least like 90 power or something. That would have been like a crazy card, but still. I'm going to try and get him at some point, although I am uh, very much enjoying using this Reds Griffey so far because he's been going off. He just doesn't have that speed and just doesn't have that fielding, but he hasn't been a liability so far. This is this is somebody who's been a liability in the field. Jonathan Lucroy can't block shit. This guy is a pylon behind home plate. I'm not joking. Yes, he gets it done at the plate, but is it... I mean, yeah, he gets it done at the plate, but behind the plate, he's not getting it done. I mean, is it worth it? Is it worth having somebody who's doing good at the plate? And then when... You can't, I'm, I honest to God can't throw a curveball or a change up in the dirt. He won't block it. And if he does, it'll be 10 feet away from him. So look at Big CC stepping up to the plate and getting a base knock. And look at this guy. Look at this guy. He spent 10 minutes, literally 10 minutes, throwing over to first base when VR was on first base, and then he leaves. What do you What do you have to do to play people, man? Like, honest to God, if you get off to a good start, people will leave. So you got to, like, let people back in games for them to stay in the game. If you come out in the first inning and get four or five hits, maybe score a couple runs, people will leave. 
Like, what? People will leave when they're down by two or three runs in the second inning. Like, dude, go go play franchise or something if you're leaving games when you're down by two runs. Anything can happen in this game. This is a perfect example of anything can happen in this game. This very game you're going to be watching right now. So, uh, next guy I'm playing, we're playing at the Metrodome, which is very cool. I have not played at this stadium yet. I've seen gameplay so far, but still, it is looking very fancy as every stadium is. Look at Griffey again, going deep. This guy is a machine, man. This guy is just doing some crazy shit at the plate, even though this is like his, what, second or third game playing so far? He's got, that may have been his fourth, actually. Fourth home run for the squad, so he has four home runs in the span of four games. That is very good. The RBIs for that mission is going to be the problem, I find, because you need to have people on base. Unless I can get 22 solo home runs, then, you know, that's not going to be a problem, but I'm just going to have to try and get uh, people on base for Griffey and then send some, you know, home runs... And then get get those RBIs uh, racked up because yeah I don't want to I don't want to be doing this mission over and over again. You get to do it in a span of 30 games. I mean that can be a little bit frustrating at times. You're just sitting there trying to swing for the fences, and if you don't get home runs and stuff, that can be a little bit annoying, especially if if you have to start the mission all over again. So Fred McGriff was uh, he didn't do anything in his first, even though there was only like a one inning game. I made some I almost hit a home run in the first game actually, but first at bat was ugly in this one. This guy's squad and the previous opponent I played wasn't even close to as good as my as my opponent's squad yesterday. I still can't even believe that. Uh, some people were commenting on my video too, saying that I played like the the guy that completed all the collections first. That's crazy, dude. That's insane. That's what I was saying too. Like I didn't even want to see that guy's bench or just the rest of his squad who wasn't even on the bench because damn, if he had every single player, like oh my. That was crazy. Like I, I was surprised that guy didn't kick my ass, but still, either way, that guy's squad was insane. I'm not. Pr I'm pretty sure I'm not going to see a squad like that for a good amount of time again. Man, I'm not even joking. Anthony Rizzo is the biggest glitch in MLB The Show history. This guy gets home runs on the most ridiculous like situation. That's a. Ch that was a changeup, down and in, out of the strike zone. I'm pretty sure. Late swing, home run to left field. Anthony Rizzo is a glitch, man. That was one of the cards I hated playing against in MLB 16 because every single time he came to the plate, he hit a home run. So Anthony Rizzo is already, he may be number one on my list of annoying players so far because holy shit, dude, when you're hitting home runs on change-ups down and in, down and in, out of the strike zone, late swing, and you're hitting it oppo? Come on, man, what's going on? Anthony Rizzo needs to be, he needs to be a diamond if that shit's going to happen. So this guy is getting something going early in this game. Failure. I'm not really sure if that was my fault or the game just didn't want to register on the ball because it looked like I ran right over the baseball right there. did not come up with this. So luckily, though, that did not come back and haunt me. I'm able to get the final out of this inning with the bases loaded. So that would have been a huge buzzkill if he was able to score some more runs right there. But Anthony Rizzo gets the solo shot. So it is tied again, 1-1. VR has been dropped down in the lineup a little bit. He hasn't been, he's got a couple base hits so far, but I need some speed down in the order. So VR is batting eighth in this game. And just trying to advance him over to third base, I thought for sure the computer would have just sent him over there for sure. And then me being a bonehead, tried to send him over to third base, he gets thrown out, so that sucks. Had somebody on second base to begin the second inning and I get or wait yeah, yeah what is it third I'm not yeah I can't I can't see the screen it's very far away either way VR gets thrown out at third base and then next batter Granderson steps up gets a base hit so that could have possibly scored VR with that speed I mean it would have been close I probably would have sent him anyway since I'm a crazy person but still that would have been a close play Kipnis is up next Kipnis I had to move him up like I was saying, because the previous game he was, he, I think he had, a, he had a home run in the previous game, and then just uh, prior games to that, he was also getting a couple base hits, so I needed to move him up, put some speed down in the lineup with VR batting eighth now, so Kipnis is batting second. So, yeah, I'm not really sure where Kipnis is going to be when I get some new players and stuff, because, yeah, like, Granderson just seems to be a very good leadoff guy against righties, 100%. He has that 81 speed, and those hitting stats versus righties are ridiculous. you got to leave... Uh, Granderson up in the lineup, and you'll you'll definitely do some damage, man. Like 96, 97 power, whatever it is against right-handers is crazy. With with someone with 81 speed too, that's actually a very very good card, man. Probably one of the, uh, I don't know, I'm not gonna say it's one of the best cards in the game at this very moment, but it's one of my favorite cards in the game at this very moment. Look at Griffey again, getting another base hit. It's too bad. It's too bad you couldn't get base hits 
for that mission because that wouldn't be any problem at all with this Griff. He's been going absolutely insane. So now Fred McGriff is up, has not got a base hit yet for the squad. And I need to get something going with him because, like I said, this is kind of a tryout for the first baseman at this very moment. I got Eric Karos waiting. He's ready and waiting. There was no reason I even should have taken him out of the lineup. Just wanted to get somebody with that 90. Plus, he is a lefty, too. So, McGriff and too bad there's no platoon. Well, there is, but you can't really see who you face at the beginning. So, as I'm talking that McGriff needs to get something going, he is sending one to left center. That's leaving. That's leaving the yard. McGriff gets the two-run shot, and then Moustakis smells blood. See that with two strikes. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air, and a ball that he got every stitch of, as that one, without a doubt, is gone. Moose, two batters later, gets a solo shot on the board, so now I'm going up 4-1 in this game. But this guy is responding back quick, gets a base hit to begin the uh, bottom of the fourth, or bottom of the fifth, and now there is a runner on second base as he advanced. And then he's following it up with another double to left center. So this is where anything, this is exactly what I'm saying when anything can happen in this game. Like if this guy that I was playing was some buzzkill, he would have been gone. He probably would have left. And then this wouldn't have happened. This guy wouldn't have even came close to making a comeback. So right here I could have maybe got, I don't know. It would have been way closer than it was. But I hesitated when I was trying to throw a home right there. So he gets another run. So now it's 4-3. But, I don't know. It's it's getting ugly. It is getting ugly. Let's play how many hits can this motherfucker get in a row. That seems to be the case in MLB 17 so far, man. From my experiences, as soon as people start getting two hits in a row, I mean, damn, you, you can't stop them. In MLB 16, that was kind of a... That was kind of the case too, but I find that in MLB 17, as soon as somebody gets two hits in a row, that you can't stop them. It doesn't even matter who you bring in. That's just the case so far. So... Freddie Freeman is somebody I've been wanting to get in the lineup, to be honest, but I haven't even got the opportunity because I've been using Eric Caro, so I'm now using Fred McGriff. And Freddie Freeman's first swing for the squad is a single to right field, so that's exactly what I'm saying, man. Freddie Freeman may have to get some playing time. We'll just have to wait and see. So Kipnis able to get a hold of one right there, but not leaving the yard. Too bad that wasn't a little bit to the left. That could have possibly left for sure. And then Griffey is also squaring that one up right there. But not getting by the first baseman in Rizzo. Look at Rizzo, dude. Doing everything. Hitting home runs. And then he's making all the plays in the field. And this guy also had the rookie Griffey. Actually, I'm not really sure. What Griffey did he have? I think he had... Yeah, I think he had the same Griffey as me. And he goes deep. So that's just saying, man, what this Reds Griffey can do. Sending moonshots deep. Speaking of moonshots, the human glitch is back up to the dish. This guy is getting another home run with Rizzo, man. Rizzo honestly is pissing me off. I'm not joking. There's no player in this game who pisses me off at this point more than Rizzo. Every single time somebody hits a home run, doesn't matter. When Rizzo does, I'm steaming from the ears. So Rizzo gets another home run on the board. This guy is able to take the lead. That's a costly mistake right there late in this game trying to steal second base. And I'm not able to get in there. So Kipnis is up with two down, able to hit it off his pitcher for the single. So come on, McGriff, man. One swing of the bat can tie this game up. And I'm just hitting a fly ball right behind home plate. So that is not the case. McGriff could have done something very clutch in the debut games. But unfortunately, he was not able to do so. John Axford is in. This guy's going to the bench. He's already got somebody on first base. And he is taken off for first. So this guy can get some, or he's taking off for second. I say he's taking off for first. He's taking off for second. So this guy's looking for some more insurance on the board. This guy was very smart. Stealing second base, didn't even make a throw, and then he's cashing in that run with the single. So now we are going into the ninth inning. Craig Kimbrell is in for this guy, and I haven't faced uh, Kimbrell yet. I'm surprised this guy has Kimbrell because I find that a lot of people don't like to use Kimbrell in these games. But I don't know, Lorenzo Cain, you could not have you could not have hit that any harder at anybody. So line drive right at the center fielder. Mustakis is up next. And he's doing the same. Could not have asked for more out of the first two guys coming to the plate in the ninth inning. Mustakis and Kane ripped the cover off the ball right there, but just right to the center fielder. So now uh Lucroy is my last hope in hell in this game. And then again off Kimbrell. Come on, man. It should have been a single up the gut. But it's off Kimbrell, makes the throw, that is the final out of this game, I'm taking the loss.
This was a very good game, though, dude. This guy I played was, you know, wasn't a buzzkill, wasn't somebody who was leaving games early. That's what I'm saying. I was up 4-1 in this game. This guy made the comeback, ended up getting the 7-4 win. Anthony Rizzo gets player of the game. Look at him smiling at me. He's trolling me right now. So I'm going to get two videos up today, too. So be on the lookout for the next video in under an hour.